Right, so we're going to make a start on this build. Now, I have to say, it's a brand new kit from Edward, and I hope you're following along with this very nicely because it will do you all a treat if you're far ahead. So, we're going to start by step by step, and the first step is going to do the cockpit. Now, the F had a different type of cockpit to the E version, so it's going to be my first. Actually, tell I, this is going to be my first 148th F version. Actually, tell I, my first F version of 109, so this is going to be very interesting. So, we're going to start off with the cockpit tub, which is just here. As always in many model kits, we're going to start off here. Now, I have to start out by saying uh, this is going to be a build review. Um, I have to thank uh, Sam Magazine for giving me the kit to have a look at. Turn that bit off, it's very nice. I've got a new blade to see, so. Very nice work. Kit, nice plastic. Very nice. Wow, that was simple. So apparently the first step to do is uh, the flaps at the side here. Uh, I'm just having a look how things go. Okay, uh, let's have a look. <coughs> H36. Oh, there we go. So when cutting small parts you just have to be a tiny careful. A tiny bit careful when cutting the parts out. Like so. Just cut that bit off there. There you have it. So apparently what we do now is this part here, this little piece here goes to the edge of the uh Part like that. Now I would use tweezers, but as we just took camera, that goes like so. There. Make sure it's level. Let it dry for a couple of minutes. So, being the profi pack, uh, it won't normally do this next part, but next is. Uh, let's have a look. Next part is put a chain on along with another piece here. So I've done the first pit, which is this kind of photo etch here. Uh, you can have to make it into place that where that holds a chain actually. Just have to cut the chain off this part. I don't know, I don't know if you can see there. Uh, hold on. Let me just zoom you in a bit. See. If It's actually zoomed in a lot. So that's just all. Just have to see. Sorry, there's something playing up with my camera. I'm going to have to have a look at it very much soon. that a bit off there and just go trim these edges off you might see the top of my head apologize for that like so so you are just cut that piece off then just go let that dry for a minute and I'll get back to you in a second so got the parts done. See you in a bit more wrong way. Should try that, should work. Like so. That's glued into place. Uh, tweezers are there. 
So right, we're going to take these two pieces here. Just find out which one's the top part. Just there. Just go glue the chain on now, guys. I actually use this glue. It's very nice. Very easy. Very simple to use. It dabs. Just a dab on there. This on there. It's very fast drying as well. That's what I like about this glue. Junkins, please. I might have taken out focus there, sorry. Just have a look how it goes on. Right, okay. That's going to be fun, I suppose. A little bit on there, a bit more. Stuck to the thing there. Right. Simplest thing with this glue, it dries very fast. It's sticking a bit to the it's what I like about this glue actually it just I think we'll go from some problems with these fiddly bits now. It's the only trouble I'm picking up. Go rest on the side there. push that in and that's really ill. Wow. Very, very fiddly parts to get involved with. So yeah, if, that, if you have a keen eye, to be very upscreen with this. So I'm just going to dry for a little minute. Let me push down to the... Like so. So I'm just going to let it dry for two seconds. It's good. it's a fast reacting glue actually, so you should be fine what I use. Uh, I'll just show you in a minute what I use. Oh, great. It's falling off again. Yeah, very fiddly. That's one thing. That is actually in place now. So a bit of glue on there. And that is going to rest there. Right, what kind of glue do I use? Well, I use, uh, it's a Loctite super glue. Uh, 
It's, it says to danger, bond, skin, and eyes in seconds, creep and reach children. Great. So that's why you have to be careful of it. it. This thing just dries in a matter of minutes. It's just unbelievable. Just move it into position a bit. Please don't stick. It's stuck to a bloody thing. That's the only trouble of the thing though. It just sticks to you no matter what. It won't stick in the right places but it'll st stick in the wrong places. There you are, that's it, right, I'm definitely going to leave that to dry now. That was absolutely ridiculous to dry. Right, so with that done, we finally get on with the build of the great thing. So, I've got the chain on there, which you just saw, and there's another one on the other side, which is there. i just knock over it in this process. Got the side there. I like how it's all basically it's fallen into place there's nothing wrong with it nothing it's just it's a beauty wow let's go on to that like so like that I might take out a shop, shop there. Just give it like that. Right, like that. Have a lot. Thirty. Right, so do you need these parts? 34 29 is there 29 uh, What other ones do we need? H51 That piece What else? And H2 which is there. I like how it's all on one sprue, so you're not fussing about at different stages. I kind of find that all right, actually. That's that's one good thing about Edward on this project. They're just everything's just in place. So, uh, that was that. So, let's put these pieces on there. So this is the armor plate that goes at the back there. That's just gone straight in, no problem. So just gonna take the sander. Um, instead of being on the end there, it's actually on that piece, which 
So that's kind of a bad thing. So that's the first thing, bad thing I've had. Just going to sand that off a bit, just gently. Make it smooth, now we'll see that. Edge there. On the edge there. And let's see which way that goes. That piece on there. Let's set it dry. I'm just go. Oh, like that. So that's just all fallen into place, like so. That's very nice. One more piece I just forgot to add. This little piece here, trim that off. Yep. Up there. Some tweezers not go by my fingers because that will just ruin it. Like so. Right, well, let's have a look. There's not much more we can do other than give everything a quick paint. Really, that's everything in. Well, uh, I think I might go make the foot pedals and put them in. Uh, actually, we could do that. I suppose we could do, really. Actually, yeah, tell a bit. Let's actually put in. Where's this piece? Where's this piece? Just there. Shouldn't that be so? Now, I've noticed with this plastic of, Ed this of Edward's, it's depends what kind of cutters you have as well it's just all the little tiny detail it's just cutting away so nicely at it let's cut this piece off Onto there. So, actually, needs a bit of sanding. Sanding stick. So that's a bit of a. like that. And the steering column goes in. No problem. Just oh, okay, put a bit more on actually. Just like that. Right, so that's kind of all in. So that was a very simple and fast thing to do, really. Just go have a look through. Uh, I think the next step is just to get everything painted up, really. Uh, Got to paint everything separate, too. We've got some foot pedals and the actual uh, bulk seat going on. But before I do that, I need to paint it before going in. So if you see here, let me just quickly show you. The seat pedals, the bottom here, they go in the side. Well, they go in there, but I'm going to do the photo etch ones. The bulk seat goes in there, which we could do, but 
it's going to be difficult getting those um, uh, seat harnesses in if it's in there. So the best thing to do is to leave it out, paint it the same colour as the tub, and then put it in like that so we can work around it. And then put the air pipeline in, I think it is, and then some more chain for the sides of the uh, flap system. And then we can actually move on to the side walls, which will be fun. So I've got that to try for a couple of minutes. We're going to come back with our paint. I'll show you what paint we're doing. And I shall see you all in a second. Right, so we're going to start painting this little thing. Now, most people would use an airbrush, but I'm actually taking a good look at this, and I'm going to do it my old Tishel style that I prefer, brush painting. Now, with the seat, um, or the cockpit of the... Um, after the E variants, you had um, them all converted from the RLML, RLM02 colour to the RLM. 66 color which you should uh, do this cockpit in the color now I'm using uh, Humbrol, no so not Humbrol sorry Revel number 77 the dust grey so that's going to look nice uh, this is the seat tub I've done so far as you can see uh, it's, it's a nice color after like after a bit of weathering and washing that should be okay, so I'm just going to zoom you in. See, wrong way. Sorry about the noise, guys. You can see there, that's better. So, as long as I keep it here, I just knock the table. As long as I keep it here, you will all see what I'm doing. So, I'm just going to make a start. Now I like this paint really, now you can use whatever paint you want, I've just done mine a bit too thin so let's go run, but in full fairness I prefer it to be a bit, um, how would you put it, a bit thin so you can just go over another coat of it and plus it's much easier to spread over if you get what I mean. Just go get into everywhere like so so let's give it a nice I'm going to give it a nice grey colour I might I'm going to give this cup a bit of a wash uh, so oh that's great okay so that's just fallen out the well, the seat heart seats has so I'll have to do that afterwards in a bit while I do it. Give everybody a second coat. Well, after this is dried anyway. Let's go. This one's properly stuck down. Like you know when you can actually feel it with your hands in that. Yeah, you know how you move your brush round the place. A bit of photo which down the side here is painting that. On the bottom there. Just ignore that. So. Okay, that was weird. It's getting my Bluetooth was just that was that was really weird. My Bluetooth was just fallen off. That is weird. Anyway, on to a thing I'll sort out in a minute. Onto the cockpit. Come on, you go have a bit of fun in these videos as well. Just gonna give that one coat around there, down in there. Like so. So with that, uh I'm gonna let that dry now. We're gonna fix that other one, the other foot pedal. Just get a bit that I missed. Give it another foot pedal and then um, I'll take it from now. I'm going to give it, I think I just said, mentioned, I can't remember, but I'm going to give it another coat and see where it takes us. So, yeah, it looks a nice colour. So, I'm just going to do that, let it dry, 
do another coat and then we'll um, start detailing everything up then. Just put that side to dry and see you in a minute. So what I'm doing now is just going to add two touches of red to these switches down here. Like so. On there. Just touch a bit more on this one. There. So there is basically the cockpit bottom half all sorted really. Let's go wash that all off. I it's phone off, sorry. Uh, I have to say guys that is I don't oh let me just see you in a bit more, see if I You see all that all that It's a very nice kit that is very very good really so yeah I'm just gonna get this tub okay then add um this seat in there now as you can see I've done the photo etch on the side and it looks pretty damn good actually so that's just going to go in here like so just put a drop of glue in there now I take off tweezers this It. And there, like so. Just see if I can just. No, nope, that's how it goes in, like that. So it's a. Uh, have a weird but interesting tub going on in the, on the floor. That is how the tub sits. So another thing is what we're going to do while we're at it is we're going to ins installate the uh, glass piece. Uh, this was a glass piece but painted up into the pipework. This sits on the side here. So just go go ahead and two small little dots work there and there. That should no. <laughs> no this part is very very flimsy and fiddly. So watch out, guys. He sits in there. Right, may have to cut this bit. There's a tiny little bit on the end of it. I'll just, well, I'll just cut it off. Like so. And this. into there like so apparently hold on so it sits like that apparently no it doesn't wait Where's my knife? I just there's a tiny little bit on the end that I just need to fetch off, which I'm not happy about. That apparently fits in the side there. Yeah, I just took it out of you, I apologize for this guys. Let's try and make it a high level. Level. Uh, 
like so. So that is our little pipe going on in there, like so. Now I'm just going to check with the instructions, see if that is correct. Uh, just knock over off, why don't I? Uh, do, 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 do. That is correct, that's how it goes in, so that should be all good, like just sat there. So as you can see, just see how annoying and tight that would be just sat inside that cockpit like so uh, I think what we're going to do now is we'll add the um, seat harnesses while we're here we might as well and we're going to get our lovely lovely photo etch out so let's slide out there now we're going to take our Loctite glue I'm going to take this off the off that now, so I can just set a rest. So we're going to start with number one, which is the left hand side one, I think. Like so. Got a matchstick somewhere. Yeah, we have. Now these sit on here, like so. They're very, very flimsy, as you can see. Just be careful. Get a touch on the other side here. Touch on there. Now that apparently goes not like that. That sits just what? Oh, dad. Just like so, like that. If it won't stop to my finger, that'll be good. It's the tricky part now. Can't make it stick to the end without it sticking to you. Damn it. One tricky stage at Bodley is putting photo which horses in. I'm not happy about this piece one bit, it's just so darn annoying. The photo etch seats, lovely detail but hard to get into the actual place. That's that fixed on. What's fixed on? Just go let that dry for a couple of minutes. Like so. Go to the second one on the side here. Edward kits are so lovely, but they have problems of their own. on the end there. Just on the end. I 
I'm just probably just taking out a shot, I apologise. That is that. So just go out and dry for a couple of minutes. Now this glue is literally so so darn good. It's called Loctite Super Glue, it's universal. Uh I'd, for strong super glue, I'd recommend that's really quite a list. I was going to leave that to dry, so I'll leave that to dry for a couple of minutes and come back in a second. So it's dried. What we do now take the photo switch and bend it down slowly. Like so. This one down into there. So as you can see, that is kind of the tub finished. I absolutely love that. Look at it. Go poke a bit down in here. Bit down there. So as you can see, that is an amazing little kit. I like it a lot. Wow, that is amazing. Uh, let's see if I can just zoom you in a second. Let's see if I can focus you. See there, absolutely beautiful detail going on there. That's just the tub, so I'm just wondering what the side panels will look like. So I'm letting this go dry for a long time now. I'm going to go away and start on the side walls, which you'll see in a minute. So, yep, yeah, I'll see you all in a minute. Well, a minute, you'll see me in a second. And we'll crack on with the cockpit. Okay, so what I've done off camera, you might be able to see that, so it's me that wrong way. There you go. Um, I've started with the fusage sides. Here, beautifully cut. Now I've noticed one thing about these parts: there's no um, injector pinholes anywhere on this kit, so you're gonna have to find a good way of putting it all together when it all comes over, basically. Uh, so yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do with this side. I'm gonna put the the main parts on this side because on the other side uh, there's hardly anything so just go see you in a bit more that should refocus you and what we're going to do is we're going to put everything in order so we're going to start off with the the radio compartment here I think it is I think it's the radio compartment I'm trying to think there's some switches at the top which handle the radiators and stuff like that so I might be wrong so that slots into there next part is uh, a kind of a holder which holds maps and stuff like that so that's perfect ideal for scratch building like so now next we have uh, some, I think it's like an oxygen part at the side here. Now, there's going to be a P piece that goes across the top, but I have to think about whether I want to put it on or not. Quite honest. Stick a bit of glue in there. And that, just have a look. It's on. Like so, I just need some tweezers actually. Like that, I think. Yep. Yeah. Like so. Now, the last one uh, side here, there's got some little uh, gauges and stuff like that. Now, it does say you can use the photo etch one, but have a look at the photo etch one. 
I can't prefer the plastic part on to the photo etch, so that's what I like about this kit, it gives you an option. But personally I'm going to use the uh, the actual plastic parts rather than the photo etch one because it actually gives some nice raised detail and then it's so small you can't see it but from the eye you can do so that slots into the side like so Just get straight and level like that so there you are that's that done and basically that's going to be left to dry for quite a bit I'm going to go away and paint it and I'm just having a look at the other, the other side now and the other large fuselage piece now basically it's all moulded in one the throttle and the oil levers and stuff like that down the side here so there's no need to put anything in so what I'm going to do is go go away and paint it in the Hubble RLM 66 colour and get back to you very much soon. We're at the stage now where we can actually put everything in order really. Uh, two fuselage pieces here, the tub and of course the instrument panel down here and I have to say there's a lot of nice detail going to that instrument panel. I love it. So we're going to start off, but we're just going to put everything together, get all the pieces together in. Uh, two little dots there. Now that's actually pretty clever. Why are you close the things up? What Edward have done, there are two little hole like sticks there that actually lock into the side of the actual model. Help you locate where it actually sits. So that is not a bad thing to do. Edward, I'll give you that. Like so. Put the tub in to this side, which locates like so. Like that. I'm just gonna put some put some glue into here. So, let's just get while that's drying, go get the other parts out, which are H67, which is a second, hold on a second. No, oh, wrong piece. So, H67, I know I just pulled it off like that, but I shouldn't do. Going there, now it's actually that this little piece goes there's flat side, and with a bung on the end, that goes on the outside, like so. I just took you out of focus there, I apologize, like that. And last but not least, is the tail wheel. Now, I have to say, before I start off, uh, you can add the um, exhaust from the inside, the outward, and the gun mounts. Oh, that's another important thing. Guns, I need to add them. Sorry, not just the tail wheel. So that can be added it through there. I can easily put it through there. Uh, they're all separate, so you fill them from the inside and that from the outside. But what's nice about it, I know you probably can't see, but there's actually holes to represent the the actual exhaust stacks. Now there's two variants you can do for this. You can do this version or there's one with a cover over. Now mine does have a cover over but there's a difference. These ones have the nice open like advanced detail whereas the other ones don't. So I'll go put them in and then we'll go put the photo etch across the top there so it'll be much more better detail. So I'm just going to get the tail wheel piece, which is here, 
painted in the RML 02 grey, sorry I painted it the wrong colour, not the 66 colour. Like so. There should be another piece around there with the tail wheel on, but I'm just going to leave that piece on for now. Because no my luck, it will just knock the whole lot off. And... Wait, are you recording? Yes, we are. Okay, I can't think where we were recording that, I don't know. Yeah. So that slots to there. Now there's a gap across here. It's because a part goes in there, so that's in case you're wondering why there's a part or a gap there. Put some on the front here. Uh, probably taking out a shot, sorry. Across the top there, like so. Across there. Just hold that in place for a bit. Now, just have a look. I just did a test fit while just off camera. It fits in the cockpit does, so that's good. I'm gonna glue that while it's on now. But the sad thing is it it kind of has to have a bit of pressure just to squeeze this part in, which is kind of a bad sign really. So I just have to squeeze this in. I'll get everything level. And what I am going to do is, and this sounds a bit, how'd you pull it? Uh, silly, but there's one way of doing it. Take some masking tape. I would have some proper masking tape, but I've run out of the stuff, so just cut a piece off. Yeah, sell tape that around like that. Actually, tell I no, we're not. Take that off. Put a bit more glue along there. So I'm just going to hold that for a bit because to put the masking tape on it's going to do some damage to the actual plastic and we don't want that. Also underneath will be our door as well, my god, it's freaking hell. Like so. Just hold that together. Excuse me if I cough there, I did. Now we're going to put some tape on. Like that. We're going to put some on the front of here as well. Oh, that, that is. Right, problem. The instrument panel has a weird fit issue. Uh, because this yellow yeah, pipe is stuck like that, the instrument panel can't stick out properly, so here has to be pushed in. Like so. Just 
So it's either going to have to be. Oh. Excuse me. What's up with me today? So having problems already with this instrument panel sadly. You know what? That's actually better now. Just sorted this out. That is all in place. Brilliant. Well, with that, this is going to end the episode. I'm just going to do this. Blimey, that's loud. I bet you could hear that in the other room. I bet you could hear that. I don't know if you can. If you do, I apologise. Granddad, slightly deaf, so there you go. And these whistling are brilliant, great. Anyway, I'm going in the episode. Uh, I have to say, guys, a very nice kit so far. Just an extra power problem, but can easily be sorted. So it looks okay, a good and a very nice model. like so. Right, with that thank you very much for watching I shall see you in the next part which will be the fuselage and getting everything together. So that, thank you happy modelling, hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe if you're YouTubing or you want to see more videos I'll speak to you guys later so once again cheers and goodbye for now